What's going on guys today? First of all, I wasn't gonna make this video at all. I had a different video planned for today, but the situation has just gone on a lot longer than I thought it would. And you know, I want you guys to know everything that's going on in my life. So I'm just gonna kinda inform you on the situation. So it all started at my house. I was on my YouTube one day, you know, just checking out my page to see my views and stuff. And then I went to my channel. In the top right corner, there was a PayPal icon. Basically, it was a donation link and I didn't set it up. It was under a guy's name like Travis or something. Then I noticed some of my annotations were changed at the end of my videos. There was like links to this guy's jewelry website. So immediately, you know, I changed my password to my YouTube account and I changed the links and the annotation and thought, okay, I guess that's it. I was still a little bit skeptic, but I knew, you know, all of my passwords to my different social medias were different. So I didn't think I had that much to worry about. And YouTube does not let you change the email associated with your account. So I couldn't change that email. And all of this happened after I got hacked on Twitter. I got my Twitter hacked and then I got it back, but I'm 90% sure the guy that hacked my Twitter got it through my email. So he used my email to get into my YouTube and everything like that because emails are like easy to hack into if you know what you're doing. And you know, that's what happens when you go from being a normal person to being, you know, a YouTuber. Like celebrities, they have emails like ABX74 donut, you know, something completely random that a hacker would not know about. And mine was Tanner underscore Brungard at Yahoo.com. Like he could get in so easy. And this never even dawned on me that this could be a problem. I just didn't worry about it. So I was like, you know, whatever, this happened to my Twitter. We got it back. It's all going to be fine. So I just leave it alone. And then this is when I went to Tanner Fox's house. It was like the second or third day there. I went on my computer in the morning when I woke up at Tanner's house just to check my YouTube again. And then this time, one of my thumbnails was changed on one of my videos. It was the insane trampoline setup video. It was just a random picture. So I changed it back and I was like, okay, what? Then I was like, okay, I should probably check my privacy, you know, see what's been happening in my account. So I went on my account history and checked like what's been logged in and stuff. And then there's stuff from like Tennessee. It showed me his IP address, his phone number and all this stuff, which I don't know if any of that was actually his because he could have just put in fake stuff somehow. I'm not sure about that. So I changed that and I set up two-step verification for my YouTube account, which basically means they have to text you a code for you to be able to log in anywhere. So I set that up and logged him out and stuff. From then on, my YouTube is fine. Like I had no other problems with it up until like a few days ago, but I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. Basically, I got my YouTube fixed and then my Twitter got hacked again. He logged into my Twitter Twitter, he leaked my number, he kept putting his PayPal link and the link to this phony jewelry website saying go use code Tanner and get all this money off whatever. He's trying to trick people into thinking like I'm telling you guys to go buy something, which I'm guessing is completely against the law. Like I don't know how any of this hasn't been resolved yet, but I'll get into that too. So I leaked his number as well, you know, trying to get him just annoyed so I could get my Twitter back and I actually ended up getting my Twitter back. I got two step verification on it and I got a new email hooked up with it that's just a completely random email. So my Twitter was good and I was using that to communicate with you guys and keep you updated. If you follow me on Twitter, and Instagram, you already know something about the situation. So at this time, I was like, okay, I got my Twitter, I got my YouTube, now I gotta get my Instagram, just to make sure it's safe. I had no weird activity on it up until then. I logged into my Instagram and it said there was weird activity on my account that it had been logged in in other places. So, you know, I tried to change my password and email and everything, well, then all of a sudden it kicked me out of my account and I was like, what do I do? Then I remembered I hooked my Facebook up with it, so I logged into my Facebook, you know, and I got back in one last time. And then I went to edit profile and stuff. He'd already changed my email, profile picture, deleted my bio, deleted a ton of pictures. Basically, he wasn't even trying to steal my Instagram account. He was just trying to make me mad, you know, make it to where I couldn't use it anymore, just try to piss me off. Well, at this time, me and my mom contacted one of the guys we met out in California. Part of the reason why I went down to California was for business stuff, also to collab with Tanner Fox and all those other YouTubers. And all this happened while I was with Tanner Fox. He was buying his GTR and I was filming for him, so it was like super stressful because I was trying to help him. I had my MacBook out trying to solve all this using his hotspot because my phone was blown up from phone calls from you guys because he leaked my number and of course, people are gonna call me. And I also tried to make it a positive. I actually answered some of you guys' FaceTimes, answered you guys' phone calls, and I made it into a video, but I accidentally deleted all that footage or else it would be in this video. So that really freaking sucks, but it's all right. So I was in the car with his hotspot using my MacBook and answering FaceTimes and recording it and doing all that. At the same time, I was trying to solve all this and trying to help him film, which I didn't really help that much just because I was so busy and you know, he understood. He's like, dude, you're gonna be fine. Same thing happened to me like a year ago. I got mine back, it was all okay. So I was really stressing out, but I was also like, okay, it's gonna be fine. You know, we're gonna get it back. I didn't really know that for sure, but that was just what people were telling me. So so back to what I was saying about the Instagram thing. We called this guy named Max and he had direct contacts to Instagram and YouTube in them. So we started emailing them and calling them. And then eventually my Instagram got deleted completely and then we got it recovered in under an hour because I got help from Max. I didn't really have any problems the rest of the California trip. You know, I thought everything was good to go. I'm all safe, all my stuff's secure. Basically all of this had happened because I grew really fast on YouTube and I've heard that usually they're supposed to have a person at YouTube and all this stuff that you know helps you with your account and keeps it secure obviously because you're gonna have a big target on your back but whatever okay back to what I was saying you know we got home we thought we had it all figured out I logged on to my YouTube account I went into my video manager and it said my videos were unable to be monetized and I was like 
what the heck, what's wrong? I didn't have any copyright strikes or anything, so I didn't know what was wrong. I was like, okay, then it has to be this hacker. You know, he got back on my account somehow, whatever. So then I went to AdSense, which is how you get paid for your YouTube videos. And it said that my AdSense account had been unlinked from my YouTube. So I tried to log in, you know, with my YouTube stuff because it's all connected through Google. And it said that your YouTube account is not linked with any AdSense account. So And then I was like, well, what the heck? So then I called, you know, everybody tried to get it figured out. Later that day I went on and it said it cannot be associated with any. So basically we found out that the hacker was redirecting all my income and he was putting it straight into his AdSense account, which would go straight into his bank account. So he was basically stealing all of my money. Okay, this is how YouTube works. You get paid every month on the 21st. For most YouTubers, that's how it works. You get paid for ads and you, you know you know how it all works. Well, he didn't mess with my account until that day. Like he waited till payday to change everything over so I wouldn't notice. And then he basically just got you know all the money in my account. And we still haven't got this figured out. And I do not know why we haven't got it figured out. Google is just such a screwed up system. And it doesn't make any sense to me how in this world full of technology, they can't just transfer all my stuff back over to me. Log into Google, log into YouTube, whatever. See, okay, he was hacked. They stole money. Transfer my hard earned money back to me. Unleak him. Find out where he lives. You know, do whatever they want to do. I'm not exactly sure what legal actions we can take or what YouTube can take. But I'm telling you right now, if we can take any, I'm definitely going to. It just really pisses me off that it's been a week and a half with very little help besides my manager. That's why I hired him, Max. He's my new manager. And his circle of friends that he's working with to try to help me thank you guys so much but I don't know if I'm gonna get transferred my money back I'm guessing I will because it really doesn't make any sense that he can just steal that money and then keep it but I mean if he spends it then I guess I won't get it back he'll go to prison though so I guess that's pay enough for me and I don't even care about the money that much it just pisses me off that he's been trying to screw with my life and he's basically just turned my whole world upside down this last week and a half so my account was and still is not able to be monetized and I still posted yesterday I posted the water bottle trick shot video it didn't matter to me that my account wasn't monetized and I wasn't gonna make any money off of it I just wanted a video out for you guys to watch and enjoy but I just hope they get it all figured out and it just blows my mind because people that are that smart if they use their mind for good they could be rich they could do whatever they wanted to if you use that brain for good I don't even know you could be so capable of helping the world yourself you'd be living a very happy life but now you're probably gonna go to prison because you like to screw with me which I've done nothing wrong speaking of doing nothing wrong I got pulled over for the third time last night I'll go over that another time whatever but hopefully this guy gets in trouble because it just really makes me mad so basically right now I still don't have my AdSense account linked to my bank account we're still trying to get that figured out, but I'm not getting answers and it's just so frustrating Even PewDiePie himself doesn't get the right treatment Like he's made videos complaining about Google and YouTube all the time saying how they don't do this and that right And he's completely right like I couldn't agree with him more and the last thing that happened I was broadcasting on you now the other night I was doing fan mail opening and my mom opened the door She's had like a super worried and mad look on her face and I was like, oh God, what did I do? Like, I didn't even think I'd do anything wrong. And then she just like, end the broadcast. So I had to end it real quick. I had to end my freaking broadcast full of hundreds of viewers while I was opening people's fan mail. You know, we were having a good time, hour long stream. Someone had called with an anonymous phone number, probably the same freaking guy. And he said that I was suicidal. So this cop had to come down and talk to me. He's like, oh, you're not suicidal. YouTubers should not have this. You shouldn't be able to call the police and then have the police disrupt whatever the person's doing just because someone said something. Like, because at any time someone could be like, oh, hey, uh, PewDiePie says he's suicidal. You better go ring his doorbell and disrupt whatever he's doing to make sure he's not. Why do you show up at my house if someone calls and say that? Like, I'm from a small town. I'm pretty sure, like, everybody in my town knows what I do. And it just doesn't make any sense to me why this problem isn't fixed yet. It's obviously happened to a lot of YouTubers. It's called being swatted, where, you know, like, the SWAT team comes in. I mean, I guess it's a safety thing. A cop's supposed to do it. Whatever. But, you know, this is just my little rant video. I don't know why they don't have stuff fixed. And I'm just fired up because it's it's still not fixed. It's still a problem in my life that's been going on for a week and a half now. How hard of a solution can it be? Whatever. Anyway, I changed my phone number and stuff, or else I would do another FaceTiming fans video Ugh, I need an orange juice but yeah I will keep you guys updated on the situation I still don't know when I'm gonna get stuff fixed we're trying really hard I'll keep you guys updated but that's basically it for this video thank you to everybody that stuck to the end of my rant because it's probably not a fun video to watch but I just needed to say this so you guys know what's going on in my life and you know why I haven't been able to upload just because my account wasn't secure and I didn't know like what's gonna happen to my videos are they am I gonna upload them and they're just gonna get like striked and shut down but it's just super annoying and I want to get it fixed but that's basically it for this video you guys thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave like share with the friends if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys in the next one and cue the awesome new outro